My name is Matt Masial. This is my humble abode. A typical day begins with getting ready for my favorite activity. Surfing. Before heading out, I get my board ready. Makes things fairly simple when everything is waxed up before heading out. The most important part is my breakfast though. Nowadays no one really has time, but I keep a portion of the morning for this little part. This thing is what truly keeps me on the move though. My parents call it the gas guzzler, expecting me to use a smaller car. How else am I supposed to transport my stuff? Some people wonder how I go about doing this on my own. Not the fact that I'm incapable, but why I'm not lonely. Surfing is to me where I find peace. Sure, it may not be as fun alone, but I really find time to think about things and truly puts me in an energized mood. I believe it's the best way to start the day, even if it means I have to rush back. They call me Kelpa for short. The long one is actually long, so it's avoided. I think the signature choice comes when choosing my shoes. Of all the repetitive things that make up my morning ritual, this pair of apparel is pretty much what decides how my day is going to be like. Today in particular, I chose this pair. Sure, they may be more damaged than the Sphinx statue in Egypt, but I believe it gives character. Every tear and scuff is in its own story of the mishaps and adventures I have in our town. My walk to school ends up my laundry, where I exchange what I brought with what I need. It's a sanctuary for my belongings, a repository for my education, and most importantly, my food. Come to think of it, I would be nowhere without this little book, my agenda, containing all the plans I had this year and for the weeks to come. The schedule keeps me on track of the little things that make this society go. I'll be honest, for the longest time I hated glasses. Because, you know, teenage conformity hits and you don't want to be the nerd. But glasses are kind of something that define me now and frame how I look at the world. No pun intended. Another thing, I love to sing in Spanish or English. And my blue microphone helps me record, especially when I'm arranging choir pieces. Last but not least, YouTube. I mean, besides being home 
to a frightening amount of cat videos. I can share content and see what other people are doing. This sort of give and take is part of this digital age, where the only real roadblock to knowledge is yourself. School to me is very important. I find more solace in the day through my favorite activity though. One can't ever go wrong with a little basketball in their lives. I've been playing my whole life pretty much. Though others may drive, I prefer to bike. I got this thing as a gift, but each day I have grown to love it more and more. It makes it easy that our nearest court is so close. Skate park. Sometimes my friends will be here, and sometimes not. It all depends on what they are up to. Nothing can change the importance of this sport to my life, though. At times I'll sit down to relax, catch up on what others are doing. Instagram helps me with that. From pictures of food to throwbacks, this thing is loaded. I frequent the park on many occasions to sit and ponder. This bench is no stranger to me. Yet sometimes the best thinking does not even occur, and it starts to get late. That's when I need to head home. My domicile is here. It may be on the smaller end of most homes, but I find it to be perfect. The rest of my family is normally off doing their own thing. I find accompaniment in my cat. After a quick regression into my couch, I find myself on the time catching up on current events on the television. On this particular day, Obama was re-elected for a second term as President of the United States. Let's go to post something on Facebook. 
what others have in mind. Sometimes I feel small, but then I realize that we aren't. We are a part of the vast expanse surrounding us. Everything we see out in the starry night is what composes us. And that makes me feel like I truly am a significant element of the flow of time. 